Hey everyone, Brickhouse here with another video. Um, Google. Google, 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 Google. The bosses of Google are panning words again. Because they might hurt somebody's feelings. Woke Google bosses ban staff from using the terms, including man hours, you guys, use guys, blacklist, and chubby in inclusive language dossier. So Google bosses have asked UK staff to stop using common phrases, including man hours and use guys. It has been reported. The U.S. tech giant sent out a new inclusive language dossier, which includes changes to language. Several phrases targeted by Google chiefs include whitelist, black hole, blacklist, and black box, as well as chubby. And to refrain from describing people or things as crazy, bonkers, or mad. Well, I find this crazy, bonkers, and mad. Tory MP Nigel Mills called the changes woke nonsense. It is woke nonsense. Telling the sun, I don't know where people find the time to come up with this sort of thing. Who cares? We should not be ditching phrases and words used for a generation just because some snowflakes might get impacted. Absolutely, 100%. Meanwhile, a Google employee told the newspaper that staff had ignored the guide and focused on getting on with their jobs. Wow, somebody at Google's got a brain. They revealed... We're much too busy to be worried about whether some totally harmless phrase that's been used for years might upset someone somewhere. Google has said its dossier only provided editorial guidelines for writing clear and consistent Google-related developer documentation. Mail Online has reached out to Google for more information on the new guidelines. It's not the first time the search engine has lurched into Wolkery either. Last year, Google watched, launched an inclusive language function designed to avoid the use of politically incorrect words. You know, regulating speech and saying that you can't use these certain words or phrases because you might find it offends somebody, that's a slippery freaking slope. Users typing landlord will see warning that it may not be inclusive to all readers with the suggestion they should try property owner or proprietor instead. Just like women are birthers. The word humankind was suggested was a suggested alternative to what the online giant apparently sees as the controversial term mankind. How the hell is mankind controversial? Gender-specific terms such as policeman or housewife were also replaced by police officers or and stay-at-home spouse, according to the new do Google document style program. I have to say, Google has freaking lost it. I've said it once, I'll say it a thousand times. If I say something that offends you, and I will say something that'll offend some people, because they'll they'll take something that I said that's been used for generations and, and it has a new meaning now, it's not inclusive enough. Well, guess what? Piss off. If you're offended by what I say, that's your problem, not mine. So why don't you go run home and cry to mommy? And tell her that that person said something, or no, not that person. That guy said something that it hurt my feelings. Now, I was going through the comments here earlier, and one of the best comments that I saw. Um, Let's see here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one right here. Personally, I think the whole thing is bonkers. How many man hours did it take to come up with this nonsense? No doubt it was in response to one or possibly two activists who complained about inclusivity whilst doing their best to exclude women. Yeah, that pretty much sums it up. So leave your thoughts down below. I would love to hear your opinion in the comment section on this one. 
So please, I ask, smash that like button. That helps out with the algorithm, helps get my videos promoted on YouTube. Um, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell to get notified when my content's uploaded. And um, I thank you for watching. I thank you for tuning in. And we will see you guys on the next video.